This video will cover the topic, Solving a Rational Equation that Simplifies to a Quadratic, Binomial Denominators, Constant Numerators. In these types of problems, we are given an equation containing two fractions. These fractions are composed of binomials in the denominator and constants in the numerator. We are then asked to solve for the given variable. Let's take a look at the problem we are going to be working through. We are given 6 over x minus 3 equals negative 6 plus 5 over x plus 1. Looking at this problem, I think it would be difficult to solve when the variables are in the denominators of the fractions. How can we fix this? Great question. The first step in solving for the variable x is to identify the least common denominator. What is the least common denominator? The least common denominator is the lowest common multiple of the denominators of the two fractions. In this case, we can see that the denominators of each of the fractions are both different and are binomials. Whenever this is the case, our least common denominator is the product of these two denominators. What would our least common denominator be? Well, the denominator of the fraction on the left is x minus 3, and the denominator of the fraction on the right is x plus 1. The least common denominator is their product, so that would be x plus 1 times x minus 3. Very good. Our least common denominator is the quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x plus 1. It is also important to note that we exclude the x values 3 and negative 1 because these values would cause the denominators of our fractions to equal zero. Now that we know what our least common denominator is, we multiply both sides of the equation by this value. We do this to cancel the denominators of each of our fractions. The x minus three cancels on the left-hand side of our equation. We can do this because x minus three divided by x minus three is equal to one and anything times 1 has no change in value. We use the distributive property on the right hand side of our equation. Here we can cancel the x plus 1's. Our result after distributing and canceling is x plus 1 times 6 equals x minus 3 times x plus 1 times negative 6 plus x minus 3 times 5. Now we distribute the values in order to remove all the parentheses. Let's begin with the left hand side of our equation. x plus 1 times 6 equals 6x plus 6. Now we move on to the right hand side of our equation. x plus 1 times x minus 3 equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. And we multiply this by negative 6. The result is negative 6x squared plus 12x plus 18. And finally, 5 times x minus 3 equals 5x minus 15. Now we combine like terms from both sides of our equation, and our result is 0 equals negative 6x squared plus 11x minus 3. How would we solve for the variable x at this point? Well, I think that we could factor the right-hand side of our equation and find the values where x equals 0. That's exactly right. The expression negative 6x squared plus 11x minus 3 factors into the quantities 2x minus 3 and 3x minus 1. And finally, we set each of these quantities equal to 0. Our final answer is x equals 3 halves and 1 third. Okay, so in order to solve a rational equation that simplifies to a quadratic, I must first identify the least common denominator. Then, I multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator and cancel the denominators of the fractions. From here, I distribute until I have a quadratic expression equal to zero. Finally, I factor and solve for the given variable, and then I have my final answer. That's right. Great work. 